Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 42 in chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about fluids. In this system, we can see we know a piece of the wood, right? And its density is given. There we consider it as object 1. The mass is given. And it floats on the water. So water's density is given there. And it floats on the water. And then we need to connect it with a mantle the lead and then with this lead and to make sure this one will not cause it to sink. So in this one, we know the lead density, rho 2 is there. So now we need to make sure it's not to move down, not to sink. So that means the net force should be balanced, right? Now we do force analysis for this system. First thing we look at object one, it's wood. So we have the buoyancy. We have the gravity for M1G, right? Now we look at this lead object where it has a buoyancy, F2, gravity, M2G. Now the force is balanced vertically, so F1 minus M1G gravity plus F2 minus M2G equal to zero. Agree? Yes. Now first time we find the buoyancy for F1. F1, we know the buoyancy is just the gravity of the water replaced by this object in the in the fluids, right? So the fluids density, water, rho, rho naught, and G, and V1, right? And V1, we can write it as the mass of the, this object, wood, divided by density. Similarly, we can find the buoyancy for F2, exactly the same this one. Now we input F, M1 and M2 in this equation. So M, F1 and F2 in this equation, we get the equation look like this one. And then we simplify it, solve it, we can get the function for mass 2. Now in this mass 2, you input all the known quantities, get the final answer there. Thank you.